Hi you guys, okay I know I uploaded four videos already today, but what the hey, let's do another one. <laughs> this is Emerald, episode 7 I want to say, the morning. Oh, and you guys, I noticed that some of you guys have been following me on Instagram. I have the same name, Instagram name is my username here, which is Queen underscore Barbie. But you guys, you guys are in a world <laughs> of hurt, because I don't really be on Insta like that. Like, my Insta is legit boring. You can go on there and see what I look like and see my son and stuff, but I don't really be on Insta like that. My shit ain't popping like that, y'all. <laughs> but Okay. Let's start. So, I slept so well last night. It must have been because of that relaxing bath that Charles prepared last night. That's a text, y'all. That's probably the bay. I wonder if they have breakfast ready in the dining hall. I'm feeling a little hungry. I better get dressed. And let's see another note on the vanity. Another note? A bath from Charles. What the hell is Charles? Oh, it's from Miss Bitchy Topanga. Okay. Good morning, Emerald. Please check your um, amour. Amour. Um, oh, I hate saying that fucking word. Please check your dress up, bitch. Dorothy delivered some items this morning. Uh, She said it was a gift from your betrothed. Breakfast is at 9 a.m. sharp. Sincerely, Miss Bitchy Topanga. Um, I guess I should check it out. You guys, I literally have not been on this Emerald thing. Like, I legit want to play it all over so I can remember what the hell is really going on here. Um, I wonder what could, what could be. Ooh, what your damn closet sound like that, bitch? New clothes, obviously. What the hell is what she have put in the fucking closet? What should I try on? Let's try it all on, baby. Okay. Nah, that's, but that's better than that peasant clothes you had on, honey. Oh, I like that shirt. It's like real booby. And I like this, too. So, is this skirt just a standard of all her fucking clothes? Like, that's just it. Like, you get this motherfucking skirt, honey. Yeah. I'm going to go with the beige, though, y'all. Feeling real light beige today, girl. Yes, I like this. Let's wear this today. I love this outfit. Yes, here comes the, the uh, beat squad, y'all. Bitch, Hannah, what are you doing here? Give me sent us to you. About that. Who is he exactly? You still don't know? Don't you dare tell her, Mitch. You and your superstition. It's so old-fashioned. Oh, my God. What, as mentioned before, the bride is not to know any details about her husband or any of the official arrangements until the father presents his daughter properly to the groom-to-be. I mean it, Mitch. You'll give him bad luck. Fine, fine. I won't say anything. I still wish you would just let me tell her. Hannah, get the fuck out the room so I can squeeze Mitch for the tea, girl. Okay, let's do what we came here to do before we ruin everything. Fine. Girl. All done, darling. What do you think? Ha Hannah? The hairdresser, Hannah? I think this is shit. Thank you both. I love it. I do not love the hair. I wish my mother could see me uh, looking like this. She'd certainly be proud, sweetheart. What mother wouldn't be proud? You're to be wed to Mitch. I just wish I had some idea who this man is. Like, y'all stressing me the fuck out. Come on, Hannah. Let's uh, just tell the poor, dar the poor thing, darling. Absolutely not. I told you, it's bad luck. <laughs> She's being uh, presented by her father tonight anyway. A little hint won't hurt. Tonight? I'm meeting him tonight? Emerald was overwhelmed with emotion. She began to feel dizzy. Oh, damn, Emerald. Oh, damn, Emerald. Emerald! Quick, Mitch, have Miss Bitchy Topanga send for a doctor. 
a little while later. Oh, girl, you passed out. Okay, you can come in now. Well, she all right? Well, is she going to be all right? She's very exhausted from recent events. After my examination, I'm certain this is why she fainted. I gave her something to help her sleep. So she's rest resting heavily now. With proper rest and a little excitement. What? A little excitement. She should be just fine in a few days. Thank you so much for coming, Dr. Dodson. Okay. Um, anytime, Mr. Pango. I'll show myself out. I don't like bitchy Topanga still, y'all. This is all my fault. I shouldn't have been so hard on her. Fuck you, daddy. <laughs> it's not your fault, Rupert. <laughs> this is a very stressful time for all girls. And the news about her mother? Well, I'm certain everyone would react this way. Oh, no. I haven't even told her about her mother yet. What? She still doesn't know of her mother's death? I mean, I tried to... At the party, but, oh, Robert, this is not good. Well, in that case, I would not tell her. At least not now. You heard what the doctor said. No extra excitement. Um, I would wait until after the wedding. The wedding, oh my, the presentation tonight. It must be postponed. You're right, we must send word of Emerald's illness at once. Meanwhile... Zach had decided to take his breakfast outside. The weather is so wonderful today. <sighs> Mr. Dotson, well, hello. Well, hello there, Zach. I haven't seen you in some time. Well, considering I'm usually visiting for tragic reasons, I would say that's a good thing. Yeah, true, me too. I suppose that's true. Uh, please, have a seat. Sure, why not? So, what brings you here, Doctor? A young lady suffering from exhaustion. Uh, that's an, uh, an unfortunate, but I expect her to make a full recovery in a few days with some adequate rest. Well, that's good news. And what brings you to Mrs. Bitchy Topanga's? Nothing, really. Just being nosy at Mrs. Topanga's party last night. Typical Zach. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, do you uncover anything? Well, I kind of got distracted by a girl. Once again, typical Zach. I don't know. This was different. I don't know. What? What is it? I've seen this um, alignment before. What? What is it, doctor? <laughs> is something wrong with me? Yes, I'm afraid there's something. Wait, there is no cure for this. It's called love. Uh, back inside. Y'all got real dramatic with that shit, girl. I got real fucking dramatic with that one. Okay, I just unplugged my charger. That was so bad. Emma was in a deep sleep. What? What's going on? Mama, what are you doing here? I'm here to see you. Thank the ancestors. I've missed you so much. Emerald has a feeling her mother has the answer she needs. I'm so confused. There's so much I want to ask you. Emerald's vision of her mother fades. What? Mama, stay. Perhaps Emerald is waking up. Or perhaps she isn't. I want to talk to my mother. I have to stay here. Um... Do you want to keep going with the dream or wake up? Bitch, I'll wake up, bitch, for free. Fuck you, man. You'll wake up soon enough. Okay, girl. It's you, the man from the party. Where are we? Don't be afraid, my lady. Oh, girl, you real smitten, huh? We've never got, a, we never got to dance last night. No, no, he didn't. Would you like to dance with me now? How sweet. I would love to. Oh, what the fuck? 
Get away from her, you. You hear me? Oh, shit. Go away. Daddy, no. Stop it. He cracking the fuck up. Why, daddy? Why? No, your daddy comes too, girl. Daddy. Daddy. Okay, let me go get my baby out here. Crying. Emerald. Oh, you was coming to find me? <coughs> you were coming to find your mommy? Okay, calm down. Who's that? Emma? Where are you? Emma, Emma, wake up. I heard you shouting for me. I didn't know what was wrong. Uh, I discovered you were having a nightmare. Come on, over this way, this way, this one. Switch, 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 switch. Emerald's dream only made her angry at her father all over again. Get out, Papa. What? Emerald, why? I said, get out, Papa. Get out now. What on earth is going on here? Bitchy Topanga, get out, you two. I don't want to see him, Miss Bitchy Topanga. I never want to see him ever again. But, Emerald, I... You should go, Rupert. No excitement, remember? <laughs> I will meet you downstairs. So, Emerald, dear, how are you feeling? Okay, I guess. Just a little weak, I suppose. What happened? One minute I was talking to Hannah and Midge, and then I'm in here. You fainted, darling. Fainted? I fainted? I, I don't remember. Why would you remember yourself fainting, girl? Please calm down, Emerald. Just breathe. <sighs> That's much better, Emerald. Now, I'll explain. You apparently fainted due to exhaustion. Your presentation to your betrothed was, has been postponed. The doctor said you needed a few days of rest and relaxation. So I will be making sure you receive it for the next few days. I see. Maybe that's the best then. You rest here. I'm going to have Lola bring you up something to eat. <laughs> Lola turned up on somebody the last time. <laughs> I've seen Lola. She was turning up on somebody. Uh, what would that would be wonderful? Thank you. A long while later, I'm so sorry I took so long, madam. Uh, um, Charles resigned this morning, and wait, what? Charles is what gone? A message from the R3 child. Hi, it's me, Stephanie. What you call her, Stephanie? Who? I call her Stephanie. Anyway, first, thanks for reading, Emerald. Please help me out and share this story. The more reads I get, the more I know you like it, or the more you get paid, girl. Um, if I see you like it, I will write more. Be sure to add this story to your favorites list. Thanks for all your support. Oh, episode user Kayla Patrick writes, OMG, I love your story. If it had, wait, if I had a story, paper book, like this, I would still read it until it's done. You're an amazing author. What a sweetie pie. Thank you so much. You should still totally read paperbacks. What the fuck is paperbacks, y'all? Books. Real life books? <laughs> what the fuck y'all call books? <laughs> it helps to spark the imagination. Bye. See ya in a few more episodes. Alright, girl. Alright. Hope y'all enjoyed that, y'all.